And I, I'm going to explain less than the first one because, because the first one was really explained and, and, and thing like that. But today is more about using and how to do that and, and thing like that, okay? But feel free to ask and the, let me just be prepared here. We are going to start. Hi, hi everyone. My name is Rodrigo. Uh, I'm here to explain a little more about the bus. We had a, a previous presentation the first day of the conference. And today we are going to, to talk about details of the implementation. We have a kind of uh, example, a, a proposal here to work on to guide us, right? So let's start. Uh, a quick overview uh, about the bus just to make uh, uh, a review of it. Uh, we have two kind of, we, we, we make threads talk each other using, using the bus, right? So we have two kind of observers. We have asynchronous and synchronous. The asynchronous we call subscribers and the synchronous ones we call listeners, right? So when you, you need to make them talk, maybe you use a subscriber for something and a listener for other uh, uh, kind of things, right? But everything is based on channels and we, when we want to send a message from a thread to another, we have to publish to a channel or notify the channel, right? By notifying the channel, I just send the notification without change, replace the message, in fact. So there are a, 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 a much more information about it at the first presentation. Sorry to not repeat that again here to make more, more time to, to discuss about the code, okay? And all the topologies here are covered by the, the, by the, the, the bus, right? One to one, one to many, and many to many. So we can do that, I could say easily, right? We can, we can do that. And uh, many times you can you can see uh, scenarios where you can you can have uh, threads talking to listeners, callbacks, right, and everything else. So we are going to 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 use an example of use, right? It's a little different from the the, the first presentation. We have some tweaks here. I call this a bus diagram. So. Uh, for it's it's it seems to be a, 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 a I don't know a, a, a cute image right we have some colors <laughs> but uh, the, the arrows uh, mean and means the mean when when you have an, a channel an arrow from a channel to a, a, a square a rectangle like this one when this the rectangle is gray the it means that it's a thread okay. When it's yellow, it's a, a listener, so it's a callback. And when you have a, a, an error coming from a, a thread to a channel, it, it implies that we are publishing that channel. That thread is publishing to that channel. When I have our error from a, a channel to a, a, a thread, we are implying with it that uh, the, the, the thread is observing the channel, the thread or the, 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 the listener, okay? The thread or the subscriber, in fact, okay? And I, I, I usually use the same color for channels, but this one at the first, uh, at, at the very end of the, the presentation, we are going to tweak it and make some advanced things over it, so we change it a little. And the, the dashed uh, arrow implies that we are only reading a channel, not, uh, not, not, uh, not observing that. So we are not reacting to change on that channel. We 
you just access or read that. Okay, any thread uh, uh, can read, uh, uh, so all threads can read uh, uh, a channel, right? And publish to a channel as well. Okay, so step one. We are going to, to we are going to, to get this one at the, the final. I I hope we have time to that. Uh, and but but at first we need to to start right. And just to make sure everybody's seen this. Okay, is, is that good the size? Okay. And this is the really really basic implementation. We just it's, it's almost. Uh, um, playing real world, but here we have uh, Zbuzz include, and I'm just going to use the Zbuzz uh, module, right? I'm not register, registering another module, a login module, I am reuse the Zbuzz. Just this, and if we, if we go here, and the, the com file, we just have log, and the bus, okay, the basic log, log minimal, and the bus in some level, uh, uh, log in some level. I usually use the assert enabled because it gives me some idea during the, 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 the program process that errors can hap happen before. Um, um, as soon as they, they appear is better for me, right? So it's a kind of, uh, offensive uh, versus defensive programming. So I, I like offensive uh, in this kind of way. Offensive is weird word, right? But in, in this, I, I'm telling this because Zbus can help you sometime. If for, for example, in Zbus, this is Zbus code, right? This is really short, in fact, uh, and, and thin. But here we have some asserts. Uh, telling you that you could not do this kind of thing. So if you have assert enabled, you could see that the bus cannot run inside ISR, right? So you cannot call uh, the bus uh, functions inside ISRs because we use mutex and mutex are not made for work inside ISRs, right? So we, we kind of inherited this kind of uh, limitation, right? So. If you pass a channel or a message invalid, you would be warned or an error will appear, okay? Is that good? So this is the basic, not nothing so, so near here. I'm going to just compile and run that. I'm not, I'm not going to, to, to well, the, the boot banner and hello world as expected. And I'm not going to, to uh, in details and, and tap things. I'm just gonna follow some, some commits I have and we, we can uh, see what happens, what changes between them, okay? And that's it for the step one. And we have the, oh, sorry, the, the main thread I, I, I showed to you, this one. And we have just the, the, the Zbuzz enabled, empty no channels, nothing, okay? And if we go, if we, we try to, to go to the step two, okay, step two. And if we see here, I, I, usually, I usually add some channel or something like that uh, to, to um, to gather information about the project. I don't know, the version, the firmware version, the hardware version, I don't know, some serial number, everything related to the project and the application at all, right? I don't know if you do that, I, I think so, but maybe some, some of you do that in separated way or I don't know. I, I'm here just uh, showing you a way to share data among but I'm among threads on the system without uh, even publishing to that, right? But it's just an idea and how, how, how we do that, right? So uh, let me try to compile that first to just to avoid some issues there. Okay. And here we have, uh, let, let's try to start with the, the project info. I add, I add a file here called project info. It's not 
the best name we we are going to change that in the future <laughs> i i will show you how to do that and change the name of a channel it's really pretty easy in fact and here we have we have a channel declaration uh, it's a definition in fact we create the channel with a name uh, i usually use a suffix a suffix and if you prefer prefix do no, no problem there's no limitations on names but channels like i usually put a, a chan in the in, in the in the end and message msg and uh, uh, everything i use a, a kind of the, of this this suffix so uh, this is the the message so we we define a struct it's it's not defined here it's defined here it's a, that that struct is is going to be used as a message inside that channel right so uh, as you can see here it's everything is const is constant so to avoid um, i don't know accidental in fact you can change that in memory but uh it's just i don't know uh i'm used to do that when i when i would not change something i put constant there and i think it's a good way to do it and I see we, we, we have firmware version, we have hardware version, we have serial number and model, right? And how can I change that? During the, the project declaration, we have, it, this, is in, this is not correct here. This is the opposite. If you go here and see the, this is a really tricky macro. Okay, inside inside the bus is really simple. The pom, pom, uh, the dot c file is really simple, but the dot h has some 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 tricky things. Uh, the, the channel define is it's one of them, but you just need to to take a look at the first line here, and the sequence we have the name, the type, the validator message. Oh, sorry, the validator function. The val this validation validator function. Uh, can be used to indicate that the message you are going to publish to the channel is valid. So sometimes we would like to do that, and we can do that using a function that you can pass during the, the channel definition, right? And you can do different kind of things use, using that because it's almost a pre-run function, right? So you can add some different kind of things there, and, and even you are not checking the message at all, but you are running something before the the publishing, and if the, that function returns false, the publication the publication will not happen. It, it returns an error. Okay, so it can help you to extend some uh, something on, on on the bus on the channel. In fact, because you can do that individually per channel, so you can change the behavior that of that, change some other things as well. User data is a, is one of them. You can add some metadata yourself for your application on channel per channel as well. So you can add more thing there. So the bus was designed to be super, uh, uh, really, really short, really fast, and you can build something on top of it, right? So we, we did that. And we have uh, the observer list and you can have subscribers and listeners inside that list and we have the initial value of the message it's it's kind of weird because we have the message definition the second position but the initialization at the the end but we have some reasons for that but not the, not the case right now okay so and here we have a, a validate a new validator. We we are not we, we don't have validator not neither user data, so we don't have observers for that. So if you change that, nobody cares. In it cares in fact, and we have the initialization initialization of that of that message. So we have the firmware version, hardware version, serial number, and the name of the project Zbuzz IoT one. A powerful one yeah in this in this way we are defining that and we we are not uh, able to change that so we have a constant or really only channel for example just to express you that we can do this kind of thing so if you want to do that 
thread safe. We are going to do that in, in, the, in, the, in the end. Uh, we, are, we can change that thread safe as well and doing some different kind of things. But let's, let's talk more during the, the, the conversation, the, the presentation. And if you have questions during the presentation, please go ahead, interrupt. I, I would like to, to have that as a more as a conversation than as a, I don't know, a session, in fact. Okay? So feel, feel free to do that. But if you have so many questions, <laughs> we cannot go up, up to the end, okay? But let's, let's go. And uh, the, the project info we already have, uh, have seen, and nothing changed here. The CMake, I just added that line here to, uh, because I, I, I usually separate, include, and, and source, okay? And, oh, and this code, I, I would like to, to add that to Zephyr code as a sample, right? I will try to do that and I'll, I'll publish after the, the, the event. And uh, I don't know the name I, I will use. Usually nowadays I'm using ZDS ZBus tutorial for now, but I don't know if it's a good name to, to put on the, the, the repository, but let's see what, what happens. But if you, if you, if you'd like to, to have that code, you can go to my, my Git Git, uh, bit, sorry, GitHub, and there you can see uh, a branch with this name. Okay, um, so let's let's get back. Uh, just remember, we are doing this kind of thing here, and the main function is access the the is accessing the, 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 the data for the channel. Here we have a, a declaration of a channel. If, the, you, if you define the channel in an external file, you need to declare that inside the file you, you want to use, right? Like, it's really, really similar to log, for example. So if you have that defined outside, you have to declare it here, and you just need to, to put the name here. So the bus channel declare, and you can use the channel in this file, right? So here we are accessing the, mem the, the message direct directly, which is, which is danger, because it's not thread safe, right? If some thread goes there and, ch and publish to the channel during the, the, the reading, maybe something goes wrong. But as I am developing the project, and just there, there's just a, one thread, the main thread, it's not unsafe, right? But take a look at that, and we are going to improve that in the, the, the end of the presentation. And I am accessing that as I, I am I'm taking the message. It's a, as a const message, so const, 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 const. So, and we just have a pointer for that struct then we are pointer here, right? Remember, we have a pointer for that struct. So when we we want to use that, we just need to to use the the the, the fields of that. So this is what we are trying to do here. And if we run that, that's it. Okay, we are reading the system information for ch and from a channel. So the channel is gathering those information there and maybe depend on the logic you are doing, you can change some variables of, of it and that changes the system functionality. But we are going to talk more about it in the next steps. So step three, let's, let's do that here before, before that. Uh, Step three, I tried to, to do that as dynamic as possible, but I need to go and get back. So the third step is, is to add the sensor thread, uh, the start trigger channel, it's not a good name, but <laughs> it's the name, and a sensor data channel. And we, here we are at the sensor thread and the mock listener. I, I, I call that mock because it's a mock, in fact, so it's almost, yeah. Hmm. And here we have, uh, we add at main thread the, the heartbeat of the system. So the thread 
the main thread will publish to the start trigger to start the whole chain of reaction of decision, right? So every two seconds it will publish. In fact, we, it will notify, I don't remember what, what, what I did, but you need to publish to the channel and sensor data will, will, will be notified and act, and, and, and act uh, react, in fact, right? So let's, let's see what happens here, what happened in the code. So let's start with the mock. So the mock's really simple. We have just the, the, the basics here and we have a, a callback function, right? The, the callback function has the channel pointer. So when, when you, you, you are a listener, you receive the channel that changed it to, to call you and call you the, 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 the listener. So here we have, we have the Zbuzz chain name. It's kind of metadata of the channel. And to, to have access to that, you need to, to enable this config because we removed the, the name when it's not necessary to save memory, okay? So if you would like to have that, you can access the name of the channel and you can access the, the, the message directly. And you can see the message size as well. This is another metadata of the channel. So here inside the listener, as we said before at the other uh, presentation, the channel is already locked. So it's not necessary to lock again. You can uh, uh, access that directly, okay? Just get the, the, the metadata and the message, whatever you want, right? But it's const, so you cannot change that. You cannot change the, 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 the message. You, maybe you could do, because it's C. C, you can do every, everything, right? But you, you must not, right, change that. And after all, we have a, a, a Zbuzz listener definition here. We, we, we are creating a, a listener here. It's the mock list. Uh, again, I, I put a, a suffix here and that uses that function over there, okay? Over here. And this is it for the listener. And the sensor thread, it's um, a little bit more sophisticated maybe. And here we have a, a, a subscriber definition. In fact, this is a, a subscriber notification queue definition. We have a, a queue for notifications that we define using that, uh, this, this macro here. And we, we, we give that a name and the size of that. So how many notifications I need, I, I, I can receive simultaneously, for example, if that subscriber is subscribed for, I don't know, for um, four channels, maybe you can receive four, uh, four notifications at the same time. But if you manage the, this number wrongly, you can lost notifications, right? Because your queue will be full and it will not desirable, right? So we are going to talk more about subscribers. They are really sensitive, okay? And here is a, a, a channel, uh, uh, the sensor data uh, channel definition, right? We have name and we have the same thing, the same error, error here, I, copy paste is not good when you do wrong, right? <laughs> it's in the opposite position again. And uh, we have an observer list empty, we have the initialization of that as zero, okay? And the, the, this is really, really a, a, a really simple implementation. I, I'm, I, I not mean to implement some external thing. I am doing this skeleton of the project here, right? But to simulate that, we have uh, we have a, a, a subweight a subweight uh, function here that locks the code here until the subscriber receives a message. Oh, our notification, sorry. And after that, you, we generate the, we, we, I don't know, we generate the sensor data and publish, publish that to the sensor data channel. Okay, make sense? It's really simple just to make, uh, to, to show you how to do that. And we, we define a thread as usual. It, the, the only difference from, from this thread to another is that we are using the Zbuzz, Zbuzz uh, uh, subscriber as a, a lock mechanism, right? 
Okay, and uh, if if we go to the if we need to know which which kind of which kind of messages this one we go we can go here and see that usually I I like to to put all the messages uh, concentrated in one single file to make that easy to import and to include in, in other modules. But you can do that separated as I am doing here. For example, I have project info and message separated. It's up to you, no problem. You can do that as, as I don't know, as the way you want, okay? So uh, the mock didn't change. The main function changed. Oh, let me see here. Yeah, here um, let, let's talk about the main function first, because we are just remembering we we have the the mock here, and we have some new channels, right? We we need to subs make subscribers and make things connected. In fact, so here we have the start trigger channel. It's really simple. We cannot we cannot sadly uh, define a channel without. A, a message, so you you can use whatever you want. But if you are using the channel just to send event, you need to put something there. I usually put some boolean thing or the small the minimum possible, right? Uh, I don't know one byte, and I don't know if it's changing in fact the, the size of the struct because the struct's really big. In fact, big, sorry, and. Anything change here to that point? We have the channel, uh, Zbus channel add observer. Here we are adding dynamically, right? During the the code is not during the run, uh, the, the, the compile time. We are add mock listener to the sensor data channel. So we can do that, and we can add or remove that easily. Just call add or remove, and you can add or remove a listener from, for, uh, from a, a, a channel, okay? So it's, it's really that. And this, this is one is the heartbeat, I, I, I told you, it's really simple, we are just not fine. The difference between the publishing, the, the pub and the notify uh, uh, functions are that the notify didn't, uh, don't, don't change the, the don't, don't replace the message, in fact. The, it just executes the, the, the event dispatcher logic, okay? It's just that. So if you want to, I don't know, notify a channel or publish the effect in the end, the only difference is that you change or not the message. And you sleep two seconds and then finish, okay? So, but if you want to do that, if you want to do uh, dynamic additional removal from from the channel, the, 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 the observers, you need to add another config. Everything is configurable because you need to be short and, and thin, right? So here's the size of, of that, the, the, it's, it's a kind of pool, right? You can, you can add up to eight dynamic listeners to some channels. So in that way, we are just using one, so it will fit no problem, right? If we can, if we go to here, we just use one, okay? But we have seven left. If you, you need to, to take a look at that, and maybe you don't need eight, don't put eight there. So, because you are going to waste memory, right? And that's it. So let's see what happens here during the code. Let's compile. So we add some th something there. Every, every two seconds, uh, the main the main channel is publishing to the sensor data. So the sensor data is happening, and the beauty of that is the mock the mock uh, is is just get the name and printing the, the 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 data of the the message. Okay, the message in a raw way. So here we have one, ten, and a hundred, right? So we have two, twenty, two hundred. I'm not an X computer, right? Uh, X a decimal computer, but I'm supposing it, right? And but it's it seems to be working properly, 
Okay, so we can see that we have a mock to help us. We can do that printing something do inside the, 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 the code we are doing, but if we can do that on the mocks better, because I cannot, I, I, I would not, uh, it would not be necessary to remove that after the, the, the I, I just need to remove the mock, right? It's easier. And, or if you prefer to de debug that with a, a GDB or something like that, you can do, but this is a really simple way to do and really classic, right? Classical way to, to de debug or dis do this kind of thing. Okay, up, up here, uh, is that okay for you? Sensor thread, sensor thread, okay. What, sorry, sorry, what, what? Oh, this one? Yeah, this one is, is for, um, when you try to publish something, you, uh, uh, the, the question is, the line 32 here, where I am pointing, what's, what's, what's the, the, the reason I have a, 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 a timeout here? Uh, this is why, because we, this is because we use uh, mutex in, in, internally. So if you try to, to get a channel that's locked, you need to wait. We could wait for that, right? If you don't need to wait, you can put kind of wait and kind of wait and that's okay, okay? Essentially, it's just because underneath there's a mutex on the other. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost the same as you can have in a message queue, and other uh, kind of things on, on, on Zephyr, okay? I, 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 I tried to make the, the, the things most, uh, I don't know, most uh, close <laughs> from the, 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 what exists, right? And, and I used uh, the claim finish from the, the ring buffer, for example. I used the, the, that, the format here from a message queue and everything I tried to, to make familiar for who, who already developed in, in Zebus. Is that okay? Oh. What, what, what line? Sorry, this is a uh, relative line, uh, sorry. Right, be, right below the include setbus.edge. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, what's the number four over there for? Uh, this, this is the, the, the size of the queue, the notification queue you need to, okay. to on, on that subscriber. Because internally we have a message queue, so if you have, I don't know, if you if you if you have a, a really well-defined behavior and you don't need to to worry about many uh, uh, publications at the same time, I don't know, a, a, a low a, a small number will fit. But if you have a lot of publications at the same channel you are listening or several channels you are listening. Maybe increasing the number would be better, right? Go ahead. Um, the subscribers that you are registering there or defining there, this is waiting for any message on a channel or on the channel. Yes. This one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Th this is this is if you if we go if we uh, no 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 yeah. In this file, we don't have any definition about it, about that. But we, if we go to here, we have. Oh, sorry, no, here. This start, uh, this the sensor thread subscriber is an observer ah, okay. of the start trigger channel. So here we are doing the link. But okay. this is a static way to do, right? That that one here is the dynamic way to do. So. One is uh, compile time, another is uh, runtime. Okay, yeah. sorry, I, I, I did not show the, this kind of this, this part of the code. Thank you. Any any question? Oh, here. No, no, no problem. I can I can repeat if. if. Uh, uh, remove what? Uh, what part do you want to remove here? Uh, the, um, sensor thread subscriber. Sensor thread subscriber. Uh, down in the 
Oh, yeah. Here, uh, this this one here. Yeah. No, it, it's if you define it here, it, it's static. You cannot remove it. Just you can disable that. You can. Uh, there is a, a, a function that you can call to disable that, but you cannot remove. In fact, you will have that allocating memory up up to the end, right? But it's it's up to you, and sometimes you you need to to do that statically or sometimes dynamic dynamically, and it's really up to the the, the based on the on the project needs, right? So go go ahead. Yeah, um, I saw in Kconfig there was that um, eight subscriber definition. No? Yeah, the, in um, the, yeah, the confile. Yeah. Yeah, is that the, globally then for all channels? Is not a definition per channel? No, because so the Q. Now this th this this number eight is for everyone uh, is for every subscriber or, or sorry every observer, because you can reuse that pool and put the subscribers and observers uh, on the observers on the channels, so you oh, can you just okay. have one pool sorry, for it's a pool okay. it's a pool yeah 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 sir okay okay let's let's keep going. And this is this is the current way, where the, the current state of the system right now. Let me just check the time. Okay, it's good. And now we we are going to add the, the core thread. This one uh, 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 is observing the sensor data, and when it's uh, when, when it receives the, the, the some notification from the sensor data, it will make some math or I don't know calculation algorithm something like that and publish publish that to the payload again i am using the mock to see if everything is working properly okay and i am just adding this one this this thread and this channel and put the mock as a, a, a listener of the payload channel okay let's see what happens now let me try to Go here. We are we are in step sorry four. Okay. Step four. Step four. Step four. Great. So the core thread. The core thread is almost the same as we have on on the sensor thread. This this is really uh, a standard way to do right. We have a channel. We have a, a the, the the message we we are going to use, a message we are going to publish, and here there, there is a, a a bit difference from the other the other code. If you take a look here, for example, we are running a loop, uh, while true right, and there we are we are just running this way. And uh, if if you are using the, the the arguments correctly, this this function always will respond zero, right? But if you are not, uh, 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 if you don't trust that, go and check the the, the error code and and do the, the the job. But no problem. This is another way to do. And in this in this case here, uh, the core thread has a. a, a uh, we define it, uh, a subscriber here, a subscriber notification queue, right? With four, I use, usually I use four, but I don't know why. It's just, I don't know, like const, right? <laughs> All the time I, I use that. And for this, for this, this scenario here, we have a, a core thread subscriber waiting for notifications. And we will receive notifications for the sensor channel. We are going to, I don't know if you remember, but core thread will receive notifications from the, the, the sensor data channel. So, so when it happens, we can read the, 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 the message, right? So in this way, as we are, go we are in a different thread, we need to read that. In a listener, you just need you you can access that directly. But in a subscriber, you need to read uh, because the read locks and unlocks the channel. Okay, so it needs to do that to be thread safe. And and in this way, we we, we can collect the S data from from the the channel, right? 
we are reading the channel. So when we read the channel, we get the ma we get the message, and the message is here. I point to a, a, a script, and get that as we do for message queues, right? And then we can do a complex math here to to make the payload, right? Just to illustrate that, and then publish to the payload channel. This is the the way we are doing here. Almost all the same, same here, um, the same thread creation and everything else. Okay. And what else changes here? Well, if we go to, if we can go to the main here, we are adding the core thread subscriber as a observer of sensor thread, right? We are connect that. We are, con we are making that connection. Okay, oh, Rodrigo, why, why we don't do that statically? We can do, but I'm just in, uh, doing different in different ways to, to show you. And we are adding as well the mock list to the payload channel. So in this way, we have the mock listening to sensor data and payload as well, right? So when the, the, the main thread make the heartbeat start, the, the sensor thread will start publish to the sensor data, sensor data will call, uh, will notify the core thread, the core thread will make the math and then publish to payload, okay? This is a, a chain of action. It's really even driven, right? Uh, but it's message driven, but okay. And, and then uh, when, when it happens, the mock will receive the message as well. So it will be executed as well, right? And let's let's see. And let me see if oh nothing changed here, and everything's good, right? We saw the payload. The payload channel is defined. Yeah, it's defined here. So here's a, a, a different thing, but we have a, a, a 64 bits uh, variable as a message in the payload channel. Again, empty and everything dynamic. Okay, let's see what happens when we compile that. So the, the, the things are running properly in, in the first, because we have sensor data and then we have payload channel. If we if we turn on the turn off the, the, the minimal from the, from here, if we turn off that, we can see differently. So every two seconds we we have that, right? So the payload, the, the sensor, the sensor data, and after that, the payload channel, it, it indicates us that it's working, okay? Payload, uh, sensor data, payload, sensor data, payload, sensor data, payload, right? Guys, is it really, uh, is it, uh, is it uh, is low, is, is good? Can I keep the pace, is, is that okay? Okay, or oh, it's fast, no, it's, it's okay, right? So, uh, everything is running properly. We can see we, we can see that the sequence every, everything is been been okay here. So the this scenario is is okay. So we have the project info payload and everything running properly. So the last addition here is Laura thread is almost the same thing that we did to core thread, but we have just a difference here uh, 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 that. When the, the, the LoRa thread uh, finished the submission of the package to the network or something like that, we published to the transmission done. Oh, sorry. The transmission done. Yeah, the transmission done. And again, the transmission done goes to the mock, right? Just to keep track what we are doing, and see if it, everything's okay. Good, good, good question. The the mocks running on the publisher, uh, uh, on the publisher context. So, if we have oh sorry, uh, the the question is, 
where, uh, which, which thread is mock running, uh, which context is mock running, right? Uh, uh, when, when you publish to a channel, you run the event, ma event dispatcher uh, logic. This is why we call VDD, Virtual Distributed Event Dispatcher. So every publisher must do that. So when, when for example, when sensor thread published to sensor data, it sends a notification to core and runs, runs the, the mock uh, callback, right? When sensor data, when, when core gets in and publishes to payload, it runs mock again and every thread will run mock on the, that page. When you publish, you run the, 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 the listeners. This is why it's not good to, to have plenty of them, right? It's good, it's fast and so on, but it's, uh, if you have a lot of listeners at the same channel, for example, you will increase the communication latency on that channel because you have to run a lot of uh, uh, listeners, okay? So what, what uh, we, we are going to add the transmission done channel and the loader thread and, and it's almost the same here. Let's check that. Um, okay, let me discard. We are in step five, right? Just from Make sure. So, if we if we look at the loader thread here, it's almost everything is the same as as before. But here we are simulating the transmission with a delay, just just for make sure that it's working. And when it's done, when it's done, we publish to the transmission done channel, right? It's really simple, really straightforward. And we, the only difference here is that we are using four as a priority, but it doesn't make any difference in this system the, the way we are doing right now, okay? They are not compete, competing for something, so it doesn't make any difference in fact. And if we go, to, if we take, uh, here we, we are talking about the, the, the LoRa thread subscriber, we have the transmission done here again, uh, a, a definition here we have a boolean and we started with false, right? And here we have the transmission done and we, we add mock list to transmission done as a, a, an observer. And if you take a look, we have just only four spare uh, uh, slots on the, the, the pool, right? that pool we, we are talking about. Because we can, we can reuse that. If you remove a listener from someone, some, some channel, you can reuse that because this number increases again. We can, the kind of uh, recycling pool, right? So, so, yeah. So here we are adding that. And if we take a look here, we, we are doing almost almost the same thing, but we are calling mock here as well. So everything's working. Let's see. So if you, if you see here, we have sensor data, payload channel, transmission done after one second, right? Oh, there's no time here. Let's, let's add that. So we have sensor data, payload channel, transmission done one second after. Okay, it's almost, it's pretty, it's, it's doing a, a, a good job, right? And it, you can do that uh, 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 automatically, right? You can write a, a kind of code there that checks that for you. It's better, it's, it's the best way to do. Right, it's, you can write tasks inside the mock to, to check if, everything is running on the right 
uh, um, uh, sequence and the right timing and thing like that. This is why we, we, we said that we increase testability with ZBuzz because we can add code without changing anything to test if everything is running okay. Okay, so this is way this is a, a, a way to do, and we everything is uh, sensor data, payload channel, transmission done, and and it goes goes goes. Okay, great. So step five, we have the system uh, we we designed before. If you take a look here, we have all the channels, all the the, the threads, everything almost the same, but. We will start some some tweaks, some some things here. For example, the heartbeat is being done by by the thread. We are going to remove that and add a timer, right? This is a heartbeat, two and two seconds. It's better to be done by a timer than a thread. I have a thread doing this. It's not necessary, in fact. So how how can I do? We are in step six. Uh, step six, let's do the uh, step six. So here we uh, we just change the, the main in fact. Uh, if you take a look here, we are I removed the, the code and add a work queue and a, a timer. Sadly, we cannot use just a timer yet because we cannot call, for example, the bus chain notify inside the uh, 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 ISR, right? Into root subs routine. It's not possible yet, and, but we are, we are planning to do a kind of a sync, fun, uh, a sync way to, to call that this kind of function that enables us to do that, and it, it will avoid this this second step. But here we have a timer, and then when the timer triggers, it calls this function. So we submit a work on a work queue, and the queue will notify the the, the channel. Okay, so we have a, a work queue there. So we don't need any, uh, the, the, the main thread running anymore. So it, it returns zero to, uh, as a, a good way to do. And we have two and two seconds, right? And it must run at the same as, as before. Oh, again, I, I forgot to disable that since the beginning. And I'm not going to commit anything here. <laughs> and, okay, two seconds. Yeah, sensor trap, payload, transmission, done. and everything is working exactly as before. So I, I just need to change the, the, the main. Other threads are untouched. Right? This is a, a one of beauty of that. So we cannot, we, 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 it's not necessary to, to change things when you are trying to change parts of the architecture because everything is based on channels, not on other stuff or other code, right? Just channels. So modules and channels, and you can, if you think like that, you can make a, a, a firmer, software embedded software better and quicker and better to maintain but sometimes if you have a really short in a, 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 a mcu with few mem a few k k bytes of memory maybe you cannot use a lot of threads there so use subscribe or use listeners for that and you have a lot of callbacks calling a kind of sequence it would be good as well okay Now I'm planning to, to, to add some FSM examples using listeners, just listeners, to make a kind of state machine use listeners. And you can use events and callbacks to make a kind of uh, execution. And after that, I will do the same thing with behavior trees. I don't know if you have heard about it, but it's a, it's a really good thing to, it's a kind of competitor to state machines. Uh, I, I, 
I, I, I don't like to offend anyone that likes state machine, but behavior trees is fighting with <laughs> state machine. Uh, uh, behavior tree and state machines are, uh, uh, I don't know, competing to, to that matter. And okay, so let just remember here what we are doing. Okay, the, the timer, everything is okay, right? So. If I would like to, to change the, the, the core from a, a, a thread to a, a listener, what to do, what, what happens with the system, right? Let's see. And if we just to take sure we are on step six, right? Is the, oh, we are in step seven. I was talking to you and I forgot that. Okay. So step six, right? Oh, seven, sorry. No. So, okay, and, and here, if, if we, I, I, first I added a, a k-config, a kind of config that core as a listener just to make that as, as I don't know, modular and dynamic as possible. So here, we the the, the default configuration is yes, right? So when you when you try to see what happens here, it's um, oh sorry, it's not me, it's core thread. So so here, I am going to add a line here. Just, sorry, what? What happened? I I think I just see no. Let me just I think that the files got lost here. Let me open it again. Yes. I don't know. Let, let's see. And here we have a, a we have a subscriber that we have that code at the subscriber, but I've added here a, a, com, a conditional compilation flag. I don't know my. Uh, let me try to. Ah. No. It, yeah, it's it's kidding me. No, yeah, 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 it, it's, it was working, working, but okay. And in, in this way, we are, we are doing the, 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 the job of a, a thread just using a, a listener, right? Here, uh, uh, we have uh, the, the listener definition. We, we use a callback and the, the, the name of it, and the Execution, it's almost the same as we, we had before, but internally here, and the, the, the listener. But remember, inside the listener, we don't need to lock the channel, so we can access the message directly and get that without copying. Because when you read the message, you copy the message from that. It's quicker to access than copy, right? So inside the listeners, you, you can access directly and and publish. So, but I don't know if you remember, but it was a question there. What happened when the sensor thread published to the sensor data? It will call the core thread and the, oh, sorry. Oh, it will call, call the core thread and the mock listener, right? But inside the core thread, we have a publish uh, as well. So you, it will chain the, the, the you, you make kind of a chain of publishes. It's, it's not bad, but you need to be aware of it because sometimes you, you, are, you may be, will not understand what is happening there, but it's happened exactly that, okay? We are going to, to, to see what happens here, but in, in one way or another, we are, running that during the publication process and everything's going on and a good thing here a good thing here is we need to add 
the the core list the core listener core listener as a, a, a observer of the sensor data, right? So we I usually use this sys init to to do that because it runs before the the the, the main. Make sure that you are using the application flag here, please, because if you use pre-kernel or post-kernel, post maybe it will not work, okay? Use application, and you can use a um, priority here. We are going to see as an example when it uh, interfere, okay? So let's run that to see what happened. Is there any change? Could you could you notice that we have the payload before the sensor data here? Why is it? Be because we we need to have sensor data, then payload channel, then transmission done. Okay, uh, this this is just the sequence of the printing on the mock. It's not wrong, right? It's it's happening as it needs to have to to work, but. This is the, the only thing here, the, the, the tr trick thing here is to know what is in a different sequence. Why, sorry, why is different? Anybody? Who, who calls call thread and mock? Sensor thread publishing process, right? But who is attached or who observes first the sensor thread? Who is, uh, we, we, we add, who, who we, we add first, core thread or mock? If you take a look here, we are adding the core li listener before the mock listener. This is why we see the, the print before for the, 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 the we, we can see first the, the core, then the mock, right? So in the sequence, we, we, we need to take care of it because the sequence of registration implies the sequence of execution of the listeners. If you have there on the, 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 the channel definition, for example, if you, if you go to, to the to to main main thread, for example, here, if you have several observers here, the sequence is exactly this one. But first the listeners, then the observers. Okay, so we, we have a lot of the documentation that on the on the the, the Zbus documentation, so you can see the sequence. We have the event dispatcher. Oh, sorry, event uh, yeah, event dispatcher logic running uh, everything there. Okay. But this is really import, uh, uh, important. You need to know what's happening here. Because sometimes you, you, you are trying to find a, a, a bug or a defect where, it's, where there, there's not a, a bug here, right? This is just a way to do. We need to, to do that. We need to know how to do that. And we are going to do that properly in the next steps, okay? Is everything okay for you? Great. I think that we are in a good timing. And okay, and in, in this step, I would like to to simulate a, a kind of a real world uh, uh, scenario, right? For example, well, I, 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 I have replaced the name. I, I did not like the project info. I, I put the app info to be more, I don't know. It's, it's better, I guess. And in this scenario, I, I would like to, to imagine, for example, I, I have a, a, a EEPROM with some of the, the information that my, my application needs to, to read to, to work, for example. I don't know, there we have some, I don't know, some, some variables or serial number or something there. But we need to, to, to write that channel, to, to publish to that channel just once. It's not good to, to publish to that more than once, right? 
we are going to 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 see that in more in a, in, in a, a detailed way <laughs> right now. So this is step eight, right? Just to be sure. So I, I developed that on the, the, the Zephyr code already. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to, to add a, a sample with that. I think it's, oh, sorry, I, I already forget it. <laughs> I forgot the, the, the eight, okay. So, okay, uh, um, just remembering we are changing the app info logic, okay? And we, we, if we, if we here, app, link, app info, okay, here, as you can see, we are using a, a validator function now, right? Uh, we need to, we need to, the, to, to use the definition of the validation here and define the, the that here because it's a kind of psycho uh, uh, dependency re here, right? Because we need the channel inside the validator channel, the, inval the validator uh, function, and we need the function inside the, 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 this is why we did that, but it's not necessary uh, all the cases, in all the cases. Uh, yes, maybe it's necessary, right? And in this way, we have uh, the old app info uh, thing, and we have a validator, and we have a user data called locked, right? We have a Boolean variable, a static Boolean variable, where anyone can externally get that, right? This is why we use stacked, static here. And uh, inside the validator, we, we just check that. Is, is locked or not? If it's not, if it's locked, we, we answer false, so that the channel cannot be published. If it's true, oh, sorry, if, if it's true, you cannot publish to the channel. If it's false, you can publish to the channel. So it's a kind of logic lock on top of the, the, the channel. It's not a, a real lock, but it's a logic one. So w w what we are trying to do here is to make that like this, let me, for example, here, in this, in this way, for example, we, we are pretending that we are fetching some data from external source, I don't know, a security chip or th something like that. And then we are want to, we, we want to change the channel metadata, right? So how do we do that on, on Zbus? claim the channel, so the channel is locked, but it's just locked. You are just locking the channel here. So after that, you can change the, the, the information directly. So I have, I, I, I am accessing the, the pointer there, but it's not, it's not constant in this case, right? I'm accessing the, 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 the reference of the message, and I am changing that directly. It's not. Uh, it's not. A, uh, it's not unsafe because we have already locked the channel. It's not a problem. It's the way to do, right? So we are changing metadata. We are changing the 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 the, the, ref, the, the message inside the channel. We are accessing that and change that, right? So here, uh, the 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 app info. We we change a, a little bit there of that, and this is. This is not const for hardware, for example. We are collecting the hardware version of, of from that, I don't know, external source. And the sample timeout. The sample timeout is the, 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 the heartbeat of the system, right? So uh, as we are trying to emulate here, at that point, we got the, 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 the information and we put the information here and we have the information here, and after that, we set the lock to true, right? We set the lock to true, and then the fi finished, we, we finish the usage of the channel. So, is it safe to use app info here? What, what do you think? 
No. Uh, uh, any, any, anyone uh, uh, discords? Uh, do you know if it's discords? I, I, I don't know the, the right word in English. Uh, discord is on another thing, right? Uh, but here, it's safe because you have a lock here and another thread cannot publish to that because we did a lock there. It's a, a different kind of lock, right? But if you take a look here, if, if the, the, the value of the, the locked is true, no channel, no, no thread can, ch can change the, cha the channel, in fact. So we are kind of doing a, a almost const uh, channel, right? It's almost const. I, I, if I want to, to, to change the channel, I need to claim the channel, change the lock, and then publish to the channel. This is a second level lock. So you can do whatever you want, right? This is a kind of situation we are trying to simulate here to show you the, the way we, we, we could use Zbus, right? Okay, so uh, let me see if anything else changes. No, oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess it's it. Okay. So, and let's see the, the, the main function. I used the, the mouse here. So, what happens with the main function? In fact, we changed that. Uh, the, the timer, we are using the, the app info sample timeout for that. So we collect that from an external source and, send, and set the system heartbeat and everything is done. And here I'm trying to publish to app info just to make sure that is not going to publish, just to show you that I'm not lying, right? So let's try to compile and run that. So we have a, an error here. So the error was what I was expecting. So you cannot publish to, the, to, to that channel because it has a um, second level lock or something like that. Okay, so it's still, we, we, we still have the, the, the wrong sequence of printings here, but we are going to fix it in some moments. Okay, so the next step, fix execution sequence. How to fix that? How to fix that? Step nine, we are going to, step nine, let me close that, go to step nine. So I'm repeating to not forget. Step nine, okay. So what should we do to avoid that? We need to initiate that before the core. We, we, we need to add that before the core one. So if you remember, we, had, we have a, 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 a season it there on the, the, the core thread, right? But the priority is three. So I need to, to add a season it here with priority, a, a higher priority, not zero is too much, but you, you, if you use two, it was okay. But in this case, we are, I, I, I put everything here just to separate from the, the, the main in fact. And here we are putting the, 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 the mock list as first on all the, 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 the channels observer list dynamic list, because we have a static list, we have dynamic list, right? So if we compile and run now, right? We have sensor data, payload channel, a transmission done, and everything is okay again, right? Just we need to know how to do 
to not, I don't know, when we don't understand what happen, we, what's happening, we maybe think it's a bug or it's a, a misbehavior or something like that. But in this way, we can, we can figure out how to do and we can fix using the right thing. Okay? And the last step, we are going to make a loop. I, I, I said during my presentation that you, could, you, you must avoid loops on the on the the bus diagram because if you take a look here the core will publish to the payload the LoRa will publish to the transmission done and transmission done will oh sorry pub, will th there is a, a loop here when you have arrow crossing sometimes it's a, a, a loop or you can see a loop uh, uh, explicitly there, I, I put that in orange just just to to say to you, but it's not necessarily orange. It's not. It, it doesn't need to be orange, right? But what I'm trying to do here is to retransmit the information. For example, if the the LoRa thread tried to to send the information to the internet and that goes wrong for us any reason, it will respond to the transmission done with false instead of true. So the core thread receives that and publish it again to the payload just to make sure, try again. Because LoRa thread is not uh, the one uh, responsible for uh, starting the communication, right? It's just respond to events. Right? So core thread is responsible for that. So you must feedback core to that information. So when you do that, you can, uh, you can find some difficulty <laughs> with the loop. But if you take care and if you know, if you are aware of it, you can use it as your, in your favor, in fact. So in this situation here, let me let me go to again step ten right the the last one oh, we need to we don't need to so the last step here we change it the core thread up a bit and here we have oh sorry I guess it's here I don't know why it's this. My, I don't know, let me try here at the, maybe it's a, yeah, it's no, I don't know, it's just, it's just the, the ID, right? Um, okay, let, let's try that again with one here, just to explain to you. And, oh, sorry, it's not one, it's zero. So in this case, we have the transmit, uh, we have the core thread subscriber uh, observing the tra trans uh, transmission done channel as well, right? So we have that feedback. So here, w what I what I am trying to to do is during the during the 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 the, the subscription uh, the, the wait for the notification you have to check because now you can receive notifications from two channels, right? You have to check that before. If it's sensor thread, you just need to publish the, the payload. But if it's transmission else, right? We, it is from, from transmission done, you need to, to check that. If transmission, transmission done is true, do nothing. If, if it's false, and you have a retry, try it. And if you are out of attempts, forgot it, sorry, okay? And the retry is just a, a Boolean. It's just a regular uh, Boolean variable. So here, if you run, oh my God, hmm, we had time yet. and. And here, okay, okay, here. And I, I, I forced, I, I have forced to the, the, the LoRa thread to just, oh, sorry. 
in order to, to always respond false. As, I don't know, we, we have a defect, <laughs> we have some problem with the, the, the network and it cannot send the, the message just to make sure we are having the, the, that thing correctly. So we have sensor data, payload, tra uh, payload channel, and then transmission done. But the transmission done content is false. So we try that. We retry publishing again to the payload, right? But it's not necessary to publish, we just notify. Because we, we don't want to replace the message. We just want to uh, 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 notify again. We just need to notify. If you recall here, we are just I'm using mouse for everything and, uh, uh, here. We just notify the channel, right? We notify to enforce that we need to try again. And it, we, try, uh, we uh, publish to the payload again, payload channel again, transmission done again, but false again. We could not. And at, at that time, we just gave up and um, I don't know, print an error or save that in a, uh, some kind of memory or send that to us. Send, no, it's not possible because it's, it's not working, right? So you, you have no, no answers from the device, right? So this is, this is more or less what, what I, I, I would like to, to, to show to you. It's a lot more, we have a lot of of uh, uh, samples at the, 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 the repository. I don't know if you have tried that. Uh, we have a, a, a good uh, documentation. Uh, if you need some help to, to use that, we have a Discord channel uh, 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 just for Zbus, and we, we talk a lot there, and we talk a lot, not, not so, so, so much, but we, we, we have great m uh, movement there, and some some tips and tricks I, I would like to 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 just remembering with you um, uh, with listeners uh, avoid the, the excessive use of them if you have a lot of them in a channel you you increase the the the, the latency of the the communication right and it's sometimes if you are aware aware of that no problem but if you need performance it will be not good okay. Do not sleep inside listeners, please. Right? We are <laughs> we are trying to do that fast. If you if you sleep, it's a kind of scene, right? And and we we, we must treat listener as ISRs. Must be quick. And and if we have any any heavy load or something like that, we could uh, uh, postpone with a work queue or something like that. But not process that inside the listener because it's running every time you publish something, right? Uh, use the bus const uh, channel const message uh, inside the listener because you don't need to copy the message. You can access that directly. It's really better than this, better than copy, right? It's really faster. So use that. Uh, subscribers, uh, take care with them, with, with them because maybe you can, you can face some losses or duplications. Losses, if you choose that number, you, you question, you, you asked the fourth, the four number. Uh, if, you, if you have a, a, a notification queue too small to receive the notifications that the, 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 the subscriber will receive, you can lost notifications, which is really bad, right? And if you produce more then the, 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 the subscriber can read. So the, the, the producer is presuming really more than the consumer can consume. You can see duplications because you have the notifications goes to the, 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 the notifications go to the, 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 the subscriber, but the data the subscriber has to go there and collect it. So sometimes if you have a lot of notifications, you, when you go there, there is a, the, the same message you are reading multiple times. So, if you need, if you need, uh, 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 if you, if you, can, if your application cannot deal with losses, duplications, and things like that, use listeners. And if you need to to keep the the data 
sequencing uh, sequentially and everything else use listeners in conjunctions with uh, message queues okay it's a good approach to 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 solve many problems and i i have a pr I submitted that is a kind of confirmed channel uh, where you can like like that lock i did for for the sample here uh, we have a, a sample that just enables threads to publish to a channel when the subscribers had read that so it's a kind of uh, 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 delivery guarantees for subscriber but i i didn't put that inside the 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 Z Z Z code because because it would be i don't know too much and we 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 are trying to do uh, the the basics as thin as possible as fast as possible right so you can build a lot of things on top of the bus like a socket and a tcp for example you have socket you have tcp over socket right it's almost like that you can do a lot of things and uh take care with unsigned loops and think uh like like we like i said before take care with unsigned loops and chained publishing <laughs> uh, uh, loops because sometimes you have this kind of thing and it, it may be can uh, can uh, generate some loops and if you are not aware of it maybe you can think it's a bug or something like that and i i i usually suggest uh, people that use zbus to make the 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 bus diagram it's really interesting to to keep that the, the, the things organized and kind of attack the, the 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 project before coding it's it's not sometimes uh, people don't like to do this kind of thing but it's interesting because if we think in software as we are thinking a house we we have all the 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 structure and all the planning before to construct right because if you are going to construct, uh, build the, the house and during the, the, the during the process we discover something that we not thought we we need to change and we we rewrite something and lost a lot of time so this is a kind of design so uh we are we, postpone everything that you need to run inside an isr with a work queue or separated thread right and extra uh we can we can we can use uh, zbuzz as as almost like a, a, a like a, a real-time database for example uh, that app info we had a kind of table there right and we if we have different tables or tables on channels we we can uh, think as a kind of property system or real-time database because we we, we have th similar things as for example firebase or something like that right it's really different approach but you can think almost like that and a, a good idea is to isolate hardware code from the from the logic application logic use channels as well so you can you can go uh, 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 you can you can do that to to make the the code more reusable and decoupled from the hardware and reuse that more and you can use the the the, the channel as interfaces as well right you can make a big module with a lot of channels where you can put data in and put data out and reuse every every part of that on other code okay and that's it uh, for the for the the community that is is uh, 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 watching us online i am going to respond to the questions at zibus discord channel okay sorry for the for the time and Thank you. I don't know if you have any questions, additional questions here in, in, in local. Go ahead. We have two minutes. Um, I have two questions. One, um, the Laura's question. You have a minute of one second. 
Thanks. In the Laura thread, you had a delay of one second. Uh, what happens if this delay is bigger than the timer at the beginning? So uh, will the queue just fill up and then? Um, yeah, you lost. Yeah, yeah. In, in this case, we will lost the, the the notifications. This is a kind of design problem because if you if you have this kind of scenario, maybe your heart, uh, system heartbeat cannot be two seconds, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So it's it's yeah. it's necessary to to be aware of it because maybe sometimes you 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 will produce more than consume and it's not good. Mm. Okay. And second question: Is Zbus also available for long-term support? Support Sapphire means Sapphire two point seven. No, sadly no. We we the, the first version we support uh, uh, we started support Zbus is three point three. In fact, okay. Sadly. I would do that, but it's a lot of work to, to make that work for, for the past. Uh, uh, and I'm just thinking f in the future, sorry. OK. OK. Uh, there, there's another question there. Does Zbus allow to create loops on the same channel? Basically, I publish a message on the same channel I'm listening to. Yeah, this is this is not uh, a good idea, right? Uh, uh, and uh, we are uh, now we we enabled it, that, but it's not uh, it's not a good way to do. But one of the things that we are trying to do right now is to avoid avoid this kind of behavior because you can avoid receive a notification from yourself, right? But it's 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 possible. So I have to to finish. Thank you, thank you very much for for your time and questions. And if you need, call me. Uh, sorry, call, talk to me around. <laughs> I will be here until tomorrow. Okay, thank you. <laughs>